Right then, I'm just making this tiger cake here. Yeah. Don't know what his name is yet, but maybe we'll work that out as we go. At this point, someone said to me that well, they don't know where you'd start now with this. What even once you got to this point, they don't know where you'd go in terms of the colour. So I thought I'd do a nice little video. You know, I might not be right, but this is what I'd do. This is what I am gonna do. A picture of a tiger. Pretty obvious. Googled that. So you know, nothing too fancy. Just put in tiger head. I went for the tiger head, and you're gonna come up with a picture of a tiger head. Crazy, I know. So orange. That's the colour I'm going to start with. I don't know if it's obvious, but we always start with the lighter colours. So the lightest colour on the tiger is white. So that's already there, so you don't need to. So you move on to the next colour, which is a very, very pale orange. I'm just going to test it a bit on here first, make sure there's no... The good thing with things like this is don't worry too much. You can make it up yourself. No two tigers are the same. It's a fact. It's a little life lesson I've just made up. I'm just going for that, see what I mean? Didn't, I just got no reference point, I just thought I'm going for it. You're going to need a bit of brown. I've run out. Great. some white highlights which gives me a chance to use this new product new for me and new for the world thinky doodle doodle pen I could say just thought I'd share that airbrush in with you and that's him done John, the tiger. 